Hey, what's up YouTube? In this problem we have an indefinite integral. We have the sine of 7x times the cosine of 3x. Solution. So when you see a problem like this, um, you should think about an identity. Uh, the identity is sine of a times the cosine of b. This is equal to 1 half, and this is uh, one of the product to sum identities. So parentheses sine of a plus b so a plus b plus sine of a minus b, so a minus b. All right, so in this problem, our a is uh, 7x and our b is 3x. So we have sine of 7x cosine of 3x. That's equal to 1 half. And so we have sine of a plus b, so 7x plus 3x, uh, 7 plus 3 is 10, so 10x plus, and then 7x minus 3x, that's going to be 7 minus 3x, so that's, that's 4x, so 4x. All right, good stuff. So again, um, just when you have something like this, just it's really about knowing to use an identity. It's really all it's about. Once you use the identity, the problem is not that difficult. Um, all of this is now equal to all of this, so we can rewrite our integral. We can also pull out the one-half and break it up. I'll go ahead and, and do that. So this will be one-half, pulling out the one-half, and then we have the indefinite integral of sine of 10x dx plus, and then again, don't forget the one-half, right? It's another one-half indefinite integral of sine of 4x uh, dx. And when you're integrating sine, the way I do it is I always ask myself, what's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So the derivative of negative cosine will be a positive sine. So this is going to turn into a negative cosine. And also we have a number here. So whenever you have that, you can just divide by the number. So it's going to be 1 over 2. And then we're going to have negative cosine 10x over 10, I'll put it in parentheses, plus 1 over 2, and then it'll be negative cosine 4x over 4, and then we have the plus c. So you can always do that, right? If you have like a sine of kx where k is not equal to 0, um, you can just divide by the k. So it would be negative cosine kx over k plus c. How would you show the work? You would make a u substitution. But you would have to do it twice in this problem because there's two different integrals. So typically it's easier to avoid it. Um, now we just multiply 2 and 10. So it's negative 1 20th cosine 10x. And then minus 1 8th um, cosine uh, 4x. And then we have the plus, the plus C. And that would be um, the final answer. I hope this video uh, has helped uh, someone out there who's working on integrals. That's it.